Language of behaviour requires animals to communicate. Animals can communicate through a variety of modes, which include chemicals known as pheromones, sounds and signals, even dancing. It can be defined as a behaviour of one animal that has an effect on the current or future behaviour of another animal. Communication b between animals can imply messages or warnings. For example, plants send out messages via pheromones to try and attract pollinators. Pheromones could be a hormone for communication to the same species, for example to attract a mate, or they can be a chemical secreted by one animal to cause a reaction of another. They make communication possible. Honeybees communicate information about food sources with a special dance known as a waggle dance. A figure of eight dance tells bees which direction and how far it is to flowers, and a round dance tells them that food is close by. Sound from the dance of the bees is picked up by the tiny hairs on the bee's head. So bees communicate through sound and movement signals, as well as by releasing pheromones into the environment. Killer whales communicate through sound. Sound is a very important method of communication for whales because sight is less effective underwater. Killer whales produce whistles, echolocation clicks, pulsed calls, low frequency pops and jaw claps. Research has shown that whales produce sounds more frequently when they are closer to other individuals and less frequently when groups are dispersed. It is thought that the sounds are used for group recognition and the coordination of behaviour. It is also interesting to note that each pod of whales has its own unique dialect. Whales may also communicate using a, var a variety of postures and gestures. However, the purpose of behaviours such as breaching are clearly not understood, although it is assumed that behaviours like jaw snapping and headbutting communicate aggression.